Hi everybody and welcome to this very quick tutorial about how to set up the SOA Clouds Maker. This is a blank new project, it's a game uh, default project. Um, I would say that um, it's better if you start, if you have to start with a brand new project with the architectural one. Uh, for the reason uh, that we have the Sun and Sky plugin from Unreal already there. Um, and uh, if you if you don't want, there's no need for the sun and sky. You can use uh, directional light, the skylight, and other things. Uh, but uh, keep in mind that if you have the sun and sky on, you also probably you know have uh, the um, another option on, which is uh, mandatory if your sun strength is uh, seventy five thousand uh, lux. Um, so it's basically uh, the sun power if you use the sun and sky plugin. So anyway, um, if you want to use the sun and sky uh, plugin, uh, you're free to do it. But as you can see, if you drag and drop it and everything you see is white, it's because you forgot to uh, go here, settings, project settings, and then uh, you need to go in uh, rendering or you can also search from here and you need the um, extend extend default luminance range in auto exposure setting on you need this option on otherwise you will keep uh, you will keep you know you, you will keep the the, the white background um, which is not white, is just the exposure not working properly. Uh, you don't have enough range. Um, so you need to turn this on. And in the moment you have it on, you see it, it works then. Um, you can restart. So now we are here, we restarted and uh, we are back to the um, uh, level with the Sun and Sky plugin. Now, if you don't want this Sun and Sky plugin, you can delete it, right? And you can start with uh, directional light. And um, you need to remember, uh, you need to uh, click on Atmosphere Sunlight. You need to check this on because you want the directional light to talk with uh, the sky atmosphere. And as you can see, it works. And then after the sky atmosphere, you want the skylight, which is here. Now, we have the skylight, we have the sun, we have the sky atmosphere. Uh, we can rotate the sun, we can move it, and it's working nice. Uh, now it's time to save open the uh, Epic Game Launcher library. I scroll down to the Soa Cloud Maker. I add it to the project and then now it will download it. If you already download it, it's just going to add it to the project. And here we are. We go into the blueprint and we can see here the SOA Clouds Maker. We can drag and drop it into the scene and that's it. That's all you need to do. Um, remember, again, if your sun is, um, you know, uh, 75,000 looks, you need to, um, uh, you need to turn on uh, the option here in the settings, project settings, extend default luminance range in auto exposure settings, or is not gonna, um, you're not gonna see the sky, basically. And that's it. Now you have the Sub Clouds Maker on, and you can play with it. You can double click on the material, and you can basically change. You can start playing um, with the with the shader which is actually the core of, of, the, of the asset pack. And uh, that's it. So if you have any question, 
please write us at support at stateofaracademy.com. Um, that's it. See you next time.